How's it going today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Haven't been on here in a bit, as you know. I don't know why I have to tell you, you already know that, that I haven't been on in a bit. Took a little break away from the old truck here. It was giving me some hard times, it was. That noise in the, the engine seems to be okay right now, but it's probably going to grenade itself. Took it out for a quick grip yesterday. Seems to run all right. The brand new tranny there, she likes to slide into the second. She doesn't really shift in the second hard. I'm hoping it's got something to do with the lockup not being hooked up. I doubt it. So I spent a lot of time on this thing and I, I think that uh, she's all gonna have to come back out, but I don't know yet. I'm gonna run her until she don't move anymore and blows up, I don't. Not having much friggin' luck right now, eh? We'll figure it out. Hopefully it's stuff that's simple. I got the transmission a little bit overfilled. Like I said, the kick down or the lockup's not hooked up right now. Went over the TV cable quite a few times now and it all seems to be where it's supposed to be and it always was, you know, has full throttle all the way out cable action. So that's probably pretty good. So hopefully it's just a few bugs to work out is what I'm hoping. But I had to walk away from this thing for about three weeks. Two weeks, I don't know, however long it was since the last video there. Just got to take a little step back and breather work. But it's pretty much done. Like It runs. The noise has kind of gone away. I was off one tooth on the distributor, so that could have uh, been a little awkward to time. Still working on getting the TVI running properly, which is cold out, so they don't run too great in the cold. This is just a summer vehicle, so hopefully, you know, we get that figured out. You can only, always leave any comments down below and let me know what you think about the whole deal spiel. We'll get her going. I got some friends in high places that have been doing this a little longer than me, so they should be able to help me out. We'll get her running right in well. We have her running right, I guess. We just got a few things to weed out, like... You know, it is what it is. I got the blue air breather there from Go Glass and Accessories, as you can see, which looks pretty damn nice, eh? Look at that. Matches a, the wheel well is pretty good. This stuff, not so much. Like I said in the last video, but that looks pretty good with that. So there's the engine bay, kind of done. All right? The blue inner fenders and got the, you know, no go all show sticker on there for you. Just so everybody's clear. No go all show. Remember that, Captain. Got the rad saddle somewhat buffed off. It was all covered in overspray and whatnot. And doesn't look too bad for a rad saddle. Gotta wait for my buddy Sean to come over there and help me put the uh, hood back on. Hopefully, maybe I might see him this weekend, but only time will tell. JJ did drop me off a little doodad here so I could have a listen to what's really going on in the old, you know, poker area there. So that's going to be okay. Got a compression tester again, just in case we got to check some of that stuff. Because, you know, you always need a compression tester, tester. Figure out, you always need a compression tester, tester. Bought myself a new hat there, got it specially made, R10 which is my truck, right? This ain't a C10, this is an R10. Sold myself a drone to catch up on some uh, expenses from this thing. So that helped. Put the, oh, I got the camera mounted. I didn't even take you long for that ride. Sorry about that. Like I said, I just been kind of slacking on the videos. It's got backup cam, it's got a reverse camera as well. So if anybody rear ends me, I can say, listen, pal. You re-earned me. You need to smarten up right now. But listen to the news about the, pre or the prime minister there. They're just, conservatives are just hammering him right now. And he's a goof too. Not as much as a goof as Trudeau, but the other guy's a pretty big goof. Just a little food for thought. Well, I better not. I don't like bringing politics up on my channel. Let's just... They're all nice guys, eh? Just legalized gangsters. There you go. Let's just leave it at that. It's going to bring something else up, but I'm not going to. Because probably half you on here are them people. <laughs> Who got in trouble for saying them people? 
Don Cherry, wasn't it? Yeah, those people. Yeah, he was kind of a prejudiced little thing he said there. Everybody thought because, you know, everybody's so sensitive and has, you know, girls have dicks now and guys have pussies. That's the way the world seems to be going right now. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me on that one. I think it's pretty much accurate. Too many Karens in the world, you know, just cock right over, Jim. Let me know what you think on that one because, you know, I'm always curious on that one. I'm just kind of talking up a storm right now. Bought myself a freaking Snap-on Jack for 10 times more money than it should be, of course, because as you Americans know, the Harbor Freight is basically the same Jack. Check your Harbor Freight, though. I want to know this. Does it have a grease fitting on your wheel? Hey, let me know that question. If it doesn't, that's where the extra 600 bucks comes from. Or 400 bucks, the grease fitting. If you don't have a grease fitting, then, you know, it's not worth what this one's worth. Watch quite a few videos on that thing there, Ben, and uh, pretty much the exact same jack. Well, it is the exact same jack, mostly. Oh, well. Harper Freight don't have Never Never Plan either, do they? Freaking right they don't. For no interest. If that is if you have, you know, a truck credit. If you sign up with the old snap on themselves, you'll have yourself a little interest. But if you have an onboard truck credit, you're good to go. But you got to make sure you pay that off quick, too. Or, uh, or they don't get too happy with you. I'm all squared up with them right now, I am. I don't want one fucking dime. It's nice. I don't owe anybody a dime right now. Well, my house, I owe that. But right now I'm doing all right. I kind of caught up. Well, that's another reason why you haven't seen me in about three weeks. I've honked her down and locked her down and didn't spend a dime for three weeks. That's what you got to do sometimes. Yep. Still didn't catch me up, but I'm a lot better. YouTube cost me money. Cost money to make content. Hey, if you know who you are and you're watching my videos by chance, I see your truck was in today getting a camshaft in it. The orange square body there, hey, eh? uh, Ray Griffins, he was in there getting a bigger camshaft. Hopefully you're gonna throw a bigger stall on that thing too. Cause if you put a big lumpy camshaft in, you know, you uh, you might need yourself a stall speed. Or you go to Google Glass and Session to get yourself a posse, which I think you already did. I think you already came in and got one of them. But you need one of them. What else? Oh, I like the way you did your dimmer switch. Hey, you use this dimmer switch as a lockup for the converter. So I'm gonna, I, I've already put a switch in, so I'm just using a switch, bud. If you're watching this, how you doing? That was a little longer than I wanted to be, but it is what it is. You know what else I want? Bird seed. I know that sounds funny, but it's getting to that time of year. It's almost bird seed season. I don't feed them much bird seed in the winter time because they don't eat a hell of a lot in the winter. Birds, they kind of, Step back a little. Oh, hey, I got my grill back in. Just in case you're wondering. The grill's in, the bumper's on, it's wired. The truck's basically ready to go. Let's see if it makes that noise. It probably won't. Like I said, I think I got it. I think it was mostly timing. And like I said, I have a lazy lifter as well, which causes a talk to talk, talk, talk until she gets warmed up. But I can only do this for now. Hey, I can only do this for a second because it stinks the house up. So this, I'll bark it and shut her down. Here you go. See, sounds pretty good. One thing I didn't know, so the truck tried to lunge forward there. See that? Huh. I wonder why it did that. I've never, why would it move forward a little bit? Leave your comments down below. That was kind of weird, actually. Whatever. Maybe, maybe it just felt like it today. He says, let's get out of here. But as you can see, it starts off good and it's, it's pretty good. I put this oil in her, the old uh, Lucas. Friggin' hot rod and classic. It's good for the zinc, eh? It gives the zinc content for these old flat tappets. Put 1030 in her. But I dry this mostly in the summer, so I'm thinking I'm gonna bump this up to that 2050 instead, the 2050. I think we're gonna put the 2050 in her. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you're running 2050 in your hot rod. She's got about 60 pounds of oil pressure cold. She's got about 20 to 25 when she's hot. And then if I slug her right down into like 500 RPM, sometimes she drops just below 20. So I think I'm going to run some 2040. It is a stock oil pump, so 
you know, you can't expect much more out of that. As long as it doesn't drop below 10 pounds, we're good. Some people say six, but I'm going to say 10 in a stock engine. But I got my wire ran, kind of, somewhat. See that red wire hanging down there? That's for the lockup. So I'm waiting for a plug for the lockup. And then we can plug that thing in and see if my switch works. I'm just going to put her on a switch so I can lock her up. And then uh, if I'm in town, I can shut her down so she doesn't get the clug, clug, clug thing, eh? We don't want no cluggy cluggies. We don't. Freaking no, we don't. I'm going to start with the Kia, too. If anybody's looking for a Kia, you hit me up. I got a Kia back there that we need to sell, too. It needs brakes. Um, it needs brakes. It needs, um, I think, brakes. Might need a strut. I don't know. I don't think so, though. It seems to be all right there. What else does it need? It's got a little bit of rust in the rear quarter, somehow. Thing's been oiled, and it's great everywhere else up for there. Both rear quarters have a little bit of rust. Other than that, come get her. Thousand box firm. As is. Or, I can maybe bump her up and get her certified with some new brakes and stuff. Who is that? Must have been the daughter going down to check. My daughter's doing her own laundry now. That's pretty freaking awesome. Leave your comments down below if your daughter, I can't believe how fast the time's going. Can you believe I'm gonna be 50 this year? Hence the new hat, make myself feel younger. You're gonna hit midlife crisis soon. I gotta make myself feel younger and look younger. Bought myself some Skechers, eh? I retired the Crocs, went to Skechers, boys. Have you ever seen the dirty old Bills of Wear Skechers? There they are. So we got some Skechers with you. Actually, they're pretty freaking comfortable. I've never worn Skechers before. I was in the mall with Stace the other day, and we were looking at shoes. God, I just got to tell you a whole bunch of shit. I forgot a whole bunch of stuff that I had to tell you. We're looking at, I was looking at these exact same Skechers in the mall, right? They're Ultra Goes, which are really light, and they're freaking nice, eh? They're 100 bucks in the mall. So down here in Petrolia, just down the street from me, it's just a little city there in Ontario called Petrolia, Ontario. They have a family discount store. I didn't buy these shoes in the mall, just so you know. So anyways, that's where I'm going with this story. So anyways, I went down there. Stacy come back. She bought me a pair of jeans. Brand new, never been worn. Hey, okay? $12. I was like, perfect. So she goes, you know what I seen in there too when I was down there? Those shoes you were looking at in the mall the other day. I was like, oh yeah, really? My size? She goes, yeah. I said, how much were they? $23. I was like, get in the car. We're going to get them. I'm not gonna miss out on that. Just so I got these shoes for 23 bucks, regular 100. So that's a pretty decent deal. Frank, just decent. Oh, I put a new uh, temperature gauge in the truck too, because I thought maybe this one was faulty because it wasn't running right. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. So now I got a spare. But anyways, there's an update video. That's a pretty good one too. Hopefully you enjoy it. Kind of had fun doing it with you, to be honest with you. Leave me any comments down below and let me know what the hell's really going on. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna call this video because I need to make it sound exciting, more exciting than what it is on the thumbnail. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Anyways, love y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.